Hello, good morning once again, my dear Matayong One students. How are you today? I hope you are doing good. So today we're going to continue our lesson on fractions. Now uh, we're finished already with uh, the addition and subtraction of fractions. So we have here about the multiplication and division of fractions. Okay. So again, remember, for, for multiplication and division of fractions, we do not need any more to change the fractions into like terms. We can multiply directly the numerators, all the numerators, and all the denominators. And again, before you start, if we have division, like this one, like number one, we have division. For division, we're going to change the operation. Uh, from division to multiplication and we're going to get the reciprocal of the succeeding fraction or succeeding term okay so we start we have your number one five over eight divided by one over six and divided by five over seven okay so the first step is to if we have division so we have your division right so if we have division here we're going to change the operation so from division to multiplication and get the reciprocal of the succeeding term like 1 over 6 and 5 over 7. So we have here this one. So you can see here from division, we have two division here. We change that to multiplication. Okay? And we get the we change the uh, we get the reciprocal of the succeeding term from 1 over 6, it becomes 6 over 1, 5 over 7 and now 7 over 5. Okay, again, you cannot divide directly in fractions, so you need to change the operation from division to multiplication and change uh, the reciprocal of that succeeding fraction. Okay, now, so here we uh, get the reciprocal already 1 over 6 becomes 6 over 1, and 5 over 7 becomes 7 over 5. Okay, and you will see all multiplication here. Now, the next step is to look if we can reduce the lowest term so that we are dealing with the smaller number, okay? Now, as so you can see here that we can cut 5 and 5, this 2, okay, by dividing by 5. So, the 5 divided by 5 is 1, and this one is also 1, okay? And the other one is 6 and 8. We can cut this, reduce the lowest term by dividing by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. For 7 and 5, we cannot uh, cut that or reduce that because that's already, uh, already the uh, lowest term or the prime numbers. Nah? Now, so we have here already, we have here in now, and we can multiply this. So 1 times 3 times 7, that would be 21. 4 times 1 times 1 is 4. Okay? And after that, this is improper fraction. We cannot show this as our final answer uh, because this is not the lowest term. So, we can show this in mixed number. So how we can change this to mixed number? We're going to divide 21 by 4 and uh, the very near, the lowest, the least next to 21 for the whole number that is 20. Okay, so we uh, for 20, we can multiply 4 to 5 to get 20 and plus 1. So therefore, the mixed number for 21 over 4 is 5 and 1 4. Okay, you understand my? Now we go to the second number. We have here 1 over 5 times 5 over 6 divided by 1 over 10, right? Okay, so uh, we're going to check first. We have here division. We can change this to multiplication and get the reciprocal of this term. Nah? So we have here multiplication and change to 10 over 1. Okay, my. Now, the next step is to check if we can reduce the lowest term. And we have this one. We can check... Uh, Reduce this to the lowest term, dividing by 5. So this will become 1, 1 and 1. And for 10 and 6, we can divide this by 2. 10 becomes 5, and 6 divided by, by 3. Nah. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay? Understand, my? Okay, now we can continue to multiply. 1 times 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 3 times 1 is 3. So again, we have here improper fraction. And we're going to show our final answer in a mixed number. So we can write this improper fraction into 1 and 2 thirds. So 1 times 3 is 3 plus 2 is 5 all over 3 or 1 and 2 thirds. Okay, my.
Okay, now we're going to have our third example we have here. This one. So here is a combination of uh, different fractions. Nah? So we have your mixed number that we can change to improper. We have a proper fraction here together with the division and multiplication. Nah? Okay, so we start. For this kind of uh, expression, since that we have a mixed number, we're going to change first all the mixed number into improper fraction. Nah? Improper fraction. Okay, so for the first uh, term which is 2 and 2 over 5, 2 times 5 is 10 plus 2 is 12 all over 5 or this one. We have 12 over 5. Nah? And we have here 1 and 3 fourths. So we can write this in improper fraction as 1 times 4 is 4 plus 3, that's 7, divided by 4, or this one, 7 over 4. For the middle term, no, because it's all st uh, still 1 over 6, but we have here division. Nah? So for division, we're going to change this into multiplication. And get the reciprocal of this 1 over 6, it becomes 6 over 1. Na? Okay, my? Okay. So you will see it's all multiplication and there's no more uh, mixed number. Okay? Now, uh, we're going to check if we can reduce the lowest term. Yes. So we can have 12 and 4, right? 12 divided by 4, that is 3. Okay, we have 3 here and we changed 4 to 1 here. And uh, no more, like 6, don't have, 7, don't have. Okay? So we have here 3, 6, and 7, 5, 1, and 1 from here. Okay? So this will be 1. This one. Nah? Now we multiply. 3 times 6 is 18, times 7 is 126, and 5 times 1 times 1 is 5. Okay? So this is now improper fraction. And we can change this into mixed number. Okay, we have here 25 and 1 over 5 or 1 over 5th. That would be 25 times 5 is 125 plus 1 is 126 all over 5. Na? Okay, my? You don't understand, my? Okay, so we have here our last number, number 4. So we have here 3 over 5 times 1, 1 and 1 over 7 divided by 2 over uh, 2 and 2 thirds. Okay, now that's, the first step is to change the improper fraction. Where's my mouse? Improper, uh, the mixed number into improper fraction, as well as with the division here to multiplication. Nah? Now, we have here 1 and 1 over 7. That would be 7 times 1 is 7, plus 1 is 8 over 7. Or we have this one. Okay, and the second one is 2 and 2 thirds. That would be 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8 all over 3. Or we have this one. Na? Okay, my. Now, the next step is to change division into multiplication and get the reciprocal of the succeeding term. Na? So, we have here only one division. We change this into multiplication of this one. And from 8 over 3, it becomes 3 over 8. Na? Okay, my. Go, say, my. Okay. Now, we can uh, check if we can reduce the lowest term. We have here 8 and 8, right? So by dividing by 8, we have 8 divided by 8 is 1. We have this. And 8 divided by one, uh, 8 is 1. We have this one. Na? And what else? 3, 5, 7, no more. Okay? So we have here 3, then 1, then 3, then 5, and 7, and 1. Okay? That would be uh, 3 times 3 is 9. 5 times 7 is 35. Times 1 is 35. So therefore, the answer is 9 over 35. And this is a proper fraction. Okay? Did you understand my question? No question, my? Okay, so that's all for today and uh, we see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye!